Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy receive connector on another exchange server. Whenever you introduce a new exchange server, many settings are copied, like you can add new exchange server to existing send connector, but you do not have any option for the receive connector. You have to create a new receive connector and reconfigure it. So here we are going to copy existing receive connector to another exchange server. Let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our exchange server. If we go to the ECP and inside the mail flow, if you see the send connector, you can see I have a two send connector. If I check this one and edit it, and if we go to the scoping, you can see exchange server one is configured with this send connector. If I click on add, and if I want to add a second one, I can add a exchange 02 to this connector. And if we go to the receive connector, see we have a two exchange server EX01 and EX02. If we see the EX01, we have an anonymous relay here. And if we go to the EX02, we do not have any anonymous relay here. If I go to the properties of this anonymous relay and inside the scoping, I can add the remote network setting and the network bindings but I cannot add a another exchange server here so in this case we have to create a new one and we have to reconfigure it so our goal is to copy this anonymous relay to the EX02 so let's open exchange management shell you can see that we have a one receive connector bound to this IP 192.168.2.60 which we have created in our previous video that was a anonymous relay so in order to copy it to the another server, I will run this commandlet new receive connector name anonymous relay and the server is ex02 use custom transport role front end. It will be created on the front end transport and the permission group anonymous user the binding will be all network adapters a remote IP ranges. It will pick it from the get receive connector from ex01. So let's hit enter. You can see EX02 anonymous relay and binding with all network adapter it is enabled true. Let's confirm that it is created or not. So get receive connector identity this time this is EX02. So let's hit enter. You can see it is bound to IP 2.60. It has been created. If I go to the EX02 now you can see the anonymous relay here and if we check the scoping IP address is also copied. Same thing we have here in EX01 inside the scoping, the same IP address is there. Now we have to assign a permission to anonymous login account on the receive connector so that it can enable and relay to send mail out of the organization. For that we have to run this commandlet get receive connector EX02 anonymous relay and the AD permission NT authority anonymous login extended right ms exchange smtp accept any recipient so i will hit enter so we have a proper permission here so now we can send the outbound emails using this anonymous relay on ex02 let me close this i hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content